Hello and welcome back. So today I figured I would talk about brain fog. Is it real? What may be some causes of it? Whatever else. And how may it manifest? So part of the reason I figured I would address this, I was recently going over some stuff and I realized I dropped a note that I wanted to edit a video. Um, I think I'd messed up at one point and I was far enough in the video that um, I wanted to, I didn't want to restart the whole video. I was kind of getting tired, things like that. And so I figured I'll just cut it and fix it. And so I finished the way, or I redid the portion that I messed up and finished the way I wanted to finish. Well, I just saw that note. I had totally forgotten about it. That video has been posted with the mistake. So it shows you an idea of brain fog. If any of you can find that video and post it down below, that would be nice because then I can go back and maybe correct the video and repost it without the issue. So, and it, it's not major if it's left in, it just, I would feel better if it was changed. But at the same time, it is kind of an example of brain fog. Um, and I've had times when I forget about things. Um, the, just the other day, my son had a appointment. I remembered up until like 12 or 1 that day, oh, I've got to let him know, I need to do this, that. Totally forgot about it by that, by like 2.30. And the appointment was at 3.30. Totally forgot about it, even though it was in my notifications, in my phone, everything else. And until the day after. So, it happens. Um, some things, you know, reminders, different things like that can help prevent it, but it's still going to happen. Um, and the things I've noticed are if you're extra tired, it's more likely to happen, which means if something's happening that's sapping your energy. Right now, my brain fog's getting pretty bad or decently bad. Um, part of the reason for that is it's the middle of summer here. I don't handle heat so well, and I may go into that in another video. Um, my feelings, some people handle ice cold better, some people handle heat better. In my case, the, I do great during the cold, I really struggle during the heat, and I have some suspicions as to why. But that sapping of my energy that happens leads to brain fog. My muscles are trying to work harder, everything else. And so my body just can't, it prioritizes and some of the energy to keep thought, your thoughts going and remembering what you're trying to say. You can kind of see that in this video or what you need, appointments you have different things like that can all be affected because you don't have as much energy going to your brain as you do during other times of the day or year or when you were younger or as other people. So brain fog is real. Um, if you are a friend or a coworker or things of someone with EDS and you see they're starting, it's taking more for them to comprehend certain things to get jokes, different things like that. They aren't trying to be lazy. They aren't trying to be mean to you, whatever. They probably are struggling more than usual. And that's man part of that is manifesting as that brain fog. And so maybe seeing what you can do to either take some tasks off them or help remind them more or 
maybe to reduce pain. Pain can be a big cause of brain fog because the brain, the body's trying to deal with pain versus try, being okay with dealing with just thoughts and different things like that. If you've ever been in major pain, you know it's hard to think about other things other, that, other than the pain and how to rectify it. So I hope that helps you and thank you for your time and I will see you in the next video. Bye.